What's up, nerds? I'm Cup Joey, and as per a suggestion, I'm going to be having a look at r slash crappy off brands and r slash bootleg toys. I personally have a love of all things bootleg knockoff and just general poor quality in general, so let's dive right on in. Family of Animal, New Leaf. Hey, the new Animal Crossing game is looking a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. I can actually afford it. <laughs> Even the freaking hippo on top looks like it's just like whining out in, <laughs> in like despair. Help me! Why do I exist like this? Why am I yellow? Karen! Why am I yellow, Karen? What am I? <laughs> oh, somehow Wario looks ten times worse without the moustache. And he's even like, instead of the, uh, I was gonna say the upside down M, but like the W, instead of the W on his hat, he's got the freaking brand name of the firework. By the way, you are gonna be seeing a lot of fireworks because I only just got recommended this and it was recently the 4th of July, so there are so many off-brand, like, fireworks over in the US that people have come across. But hey, hey, this one's for me. This one's big boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got me one of them fat guy fireworks. Yeah, I'm gonna blow him up real good. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? <laughs> oh, God. It even says Bob Sponge. Like, that's, that's just like... <laughs> Oh, but I just saw that it says it with a J. I just, like, read it normally the first time I saw this without even realising. I just, like, bubble sponge. <laughs> you know what this looks like? This looks like freaking Spongebob in that episode where he's, like, with the Flying Dutchman. And he's, like, making him see all of these weird visions. And there's that one where, like, his eyes come out and then he turns into spiders. This looks like halfway through that. The fact that that one kid looks like he's in absolute anguish as he's like coming up on the ride like I saw unspeakable horrors in there. I'll never be the same again. <laughs> Why is like half of it in black and white? It just looks so freaking sinister. Like it would just be like a bad inflation if it was just a face. But why is what's with all that black and white that's going on? <laughs> like it's film noir bob sponge with this freaky crap going on. Ooh, it's the bathroom play set from Q-Shape Puppy Club, which has absolutely nothing to do with the littlest pet shop whatsoever. <laughs> wow, there's even like another knockoff just above, like pets in the city. <laughs> it's just above, so, like they haven't even got one knockoff brand here. They've actually got two knockoffs of the same brand. Wait a minute, is that puppy doing a freaking ahegao? <laughs> It looks like it's doing an cow. <laughs> oh, my favourite hentai doll is the Q-shaped puppy club bathroom set. <laughs> Call of Beauty. Modern war hair. <laughs> Man, I mean, I like, I like the name. I think that that's pretty neat, but like, that just looks so freaking grim. Like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sure it's a lovely business, but that shop front looks dodgy as hell. I don't know how many people are gonna be, <laughs> you know, drawn in by that as well. I don't know how, you know, whether the Venn diagram of Call of Duty fans and, you know, <laughs> beauty enthusiasts crosses over much. I don't know what that demographic looks like, but I'd really like to find out. Dr. Dazzle, naturally and artificially flavoured soda. What's in it? Oh, I don't know, it's from Summit. <laughs> the, like, Dr. Dazzle feels like the Dr. Nick Riviera, that if Dr. Pepper is like Dr. Hibbert and knows what he's on about, Dr. Dazzle is the one that will like, give you baboon hormones if you give him a... <laughs> give him a crisp five dollar bill outside. <laughs> Hello, Kodja. <laughs> I know I pronounced that horribly. I didn't even bother looking it up, which is terrible because I'm a linguist and I should be promoting these things, but yeah, I'm not. I love the freaking terrible nose. Oh yeah, by the way, that does actually say like cat in, in Polish as well. The K-O-T-Y, that, that means cat in Polish. So it is literally like hello cat. Well, hello kitty, except this time she <laughs> she's been punched in the nose. <laughs> 
Stars Heroes. So apparently this is a Brawl Stars knockoff. It's not something I'm actually familiar with at all, so I don't really have any commentary on that front. But what I did notice is that these are going for £4 each, <laughs> which means that it's in, <laughs> in my back garden. Yay! <laughs> I know these kind of places, these are like the car boot market stalls that you get, like the places where people are doing it as a career as opposed to just, you know, to get rid of some stuff. So they tend to have stuff like this. You can see like the, the knockoff Lego in the background as well. Like you just even got the Chinese on the Jurassic Park one. That's fantastic. But you know, I'd say four pounds is a bit steep for something like that. They should they should like normally go for two at the absolute most. Sorry, I, I love car boot sales, so like seeing something a bit overpriced, especially as it's a knockoff, genuinely annoys me. My world from reputable company Lele. <laughs> Oh, it's always Lele. I always see Lele about when it comes to, you know, knockoff stuff. I have to say though, and I probably shouldn't be saying this, but like their stuff is better quality than other knockoff stuff, like, you know, Mega Blocks or whatever. Oh man, I just saw the stickers on top and I think that this is another one in- Oh no, it's not, it's not. I thought that this was in the UK, but there are Polish signs behind, so maybe I was wrong with the currency. Then again, you know, it, it, it could be, it could be England as well, you know, <laughs> so I don't know. I just saw that there's a Mario! Oh my god, above my world, there's like a freaking Mario in the corner. <laughs> They're capitalizing on as much stuff as they can get. Counter-Strike. Oh yeah, gonna get me and the boys all around the place from Counter-Strike. <laughs> hey, hey, don't worry. I got Counter-Strike for each of us, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna crack open the beers, get to some Counter-Strike. They're not gonna know what hit them. <laughs> I genuinely like crappy little LED lights like this. I I feel like a lot of this channel is just me freaking confessing that I like crap. I like terrible cheap things. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not a classy boy. If you thought I was classy, then you haven't been watching this channel long enough. But yeah, I really like those sorts of things. I guess it's the kind of nostalgia as, you know, I was always too poor to afford anything beyond the Game Boy Color. So I had to make do with stuff like this. Hulk crab pants. Hulk sat. <laughs> Seriously, what is up with the freaking expression? And the nipples! The nipples! Okay, also I just noticed that even like the, the ripped shorts are painted properly, which, but you know, they're painted a lot better than a lot of knockoffs I've seen. But the nipples, we need to talk about the nipples. What the hell is going on? It, oh my goodness, I don't know what what kind of a thing is going on with the chest. But it looks like the skin has ripped open and it's showing the muscles underneath. You've got some really intense pointy nipples that some kid looks like they can cut themselves on. God, this is just horrifying. Joy has seen some things and she's not Joy anymore. <laughs> Oh, she looks like that, that character from The Simpsons, the one where it wasn't Marge's mother, but she was the old woman that looked like her, that came out and like, <laughs> was going, Can I come too? <laughs> she looks like her. My god, that is a seriously haunted look, that's just horrible. <laughs> I mean, like, the hair is quite detailed, though. Credit where credit's due. Like, they've got the lines in for the hair, and that seems well painted. It hasn't sort of gone over at any point. But the freaking eyes and she <laughs> Like, not just the eyes, but a bit around the eyes. Like, she looks like she hasn't slept in a fortnight. <laughs> Legal trouble? Better call the wall. See him now. <laughs> Well, this is definitely not an intellectual property lawyer. <laughs> I like that though. I hope he's a shady assault. I hope he's like one of those, you know, sweaty suited kind of, yeah, I'll get you off the hook, it's fine, bro. <laughs> I mean, he's already practicing dodgy, like, business tactics. This is freaking brilliant. <laughs> Just, I love it so much. I love how, like, he was clearly like, well, my name rhymes with sword as well. <laughs> Evil eye. Oh, look, it's even got the freaking, you know, Tengwa script around the eye, just like Lord of the Rings. God. Warning, shoots flaming balls of reports. <laughs> what is it? Shoots flaming reports? 
does this mean if you got like a bad report card from your school, you could just like give it to this company and they freaking shoot it up in the air? <laughs> oh yeah, 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 I did really well, Mum. It's great. Just, just enjoy the fireworks, innit? it? <laughs> Elmo feels unwell. <laughs> oh God. What's happened to your eyes, Elmo? What's happened to your arms? What have they done to you? <laughs> this is like Elmo if he was the product of incest. <laughs> oh no, I wish I had said that. <laughs> Just... <laughs> on the left is Zoom, and on the right is GeoMeet. Corporate wants you to find a difference between these two pictures. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I mean, what a way to get out of a meeting, though. If you have a meeting that you do not want to go to, you could easily, like, join GeoMeet and then just, like, take screenshots and be like, I'm in here, where's everyone? Bam, damn, like, not bam, but, <laughs> you know, like, oh no, oh, I didn't make the meeting, but I was here, look at this clear screenshotted evidence. You know, that was looking at no freaking difference, I wouldn't. Then again, maybe I'm just, you know, not as smart as most people. <laughs> Exits that way. Oh god, I just, this, is, this is freaking cursed. I feel like if I don't share this picture with ten other people, he's gonna come at me in the middle of the night. <laughs> this is like freaking horrible though. He looks like he looks like you're in the place where he was murdered and he's the ghost that's come out and like told you that you need to leave this place, otherwise he's gonna murder you in the exact same way that he was murdered. Which, by the looks of this, seems to be graphic nose removal. <laughs> God! And those lips! Spongebob doesn't have, like, great big pink lips like that. We all know that the lipstick he wears is Coral Blue number 5! Bandy plush toy, soft stuff figure dolls for kids, 18 centimeters. 20 of them. Size 20? Th wait, what? Does that mean that there's 20 of them for only... $20? That's actually not that bad, if that's what I think it is. I must be wrong, it, it can't be that price. Even, even bootlegs, you know, <laughs> even they try and go for a certain amount. But yeah, it's it's Bandy, everyone, you know, from Bandy and the Pink Machine. <laughs> I actually really enjoy Bandy and the, and the Ink Machine. It's, if you haven't played it and you like horror games, it's, it's very good. It's... It's certainly different in the way that it comes across, and I have a love of, like, all things old Toony style, so this was great for me, just, like, blabbering on about how much I love it. Sponsor me, please, Bendy. I mean, Bandy. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm probably not doing myself any justice here. Lilo Grill House Restaurant. Yes, because, you know, Lilo and Lilo from Stitch, you know, if you see her advertising anything, it's a freaking <laughs> kebab house in Belgium. That's where this is, it's in Belgium, I don't know why that makes it funnier. Also the fact that it's just this one picture of Lilo that they've got. <laughs> it isn't even like completely a grill house, like they've got pizza going on as well, what were they thinking? It's two lots of lies here guys, come on. King Burger, since 2013. Ooh, ooh, this is like one of those deep riddles, which came first, the Burger King or the King Burger? Did Burger King come before 2013? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> not even the freaking logo. I mean, come on. The <laughs> fact you put since 2013, you've not got a leg to stand on there, mate. Oh, look, Sonny. It's that game you and your boys keep going on about. Here you go. Go and play with this. It's <laughs> fourth night. <laughs> Oh, I get it. That actually makes sense because it's like a 4th of July thing and it's on the 4th night. <laughs> this is another one that says shoots flaming balls of reports. Like, is is that something that all of them say? What does that even mean? Also, random controversial opinion. Having this holiday on the 4th of July makes no freaking sense. How the hell are you going to see, like, the, the fireworks in the sky when it's so freaking light out all of the time? Like, I mean, you can't enjoy fireworks during the day, and you got to stay up until, like, two in the morning if you want to make sure it's, you know, <laughs> dark or whatever. This is why, this is why the 5th of November actually makes sense, and I'm not trying to get into a UK versus US thing. I'm just saying that our historical thing makes more sense in terms of fireworks. <laughs> 
I really want to see Fnir too, but I haven't seen Fnir and I feel like I want to really get the plot otherwise. <laughs> I mean, do they, why do they just like put in the fonts? Oh, oh, I think I just answered my own question in my head. It's because kids aren't going to know the difference, right? It's because kids that can't read are just going to see like the beginning and the end and all that and it's going to make sense to, to them because it is a frozen anagram. But it just, it just reads wrong. It just reads as you know. There's also another like knockoff Elsa thing underneath just called Fashion Girl. <laughs> Amazing Rope Police, Frog Hero. You play as a hero and whole city fears you. Wait, wait, wait. If I'm the hero, why does the whole city fear me? Doesn't that make me the villain? Surely if I'm the hero, like, the whole city's supposed to be all like, Oh, when will amazing rope police frog hero get here? <laughs> then again, it could actually be how the police see themselves, like, You play as hero and the whole city fears you. <laughs> like, going around like they're the hero of everything. Ah, oh, that makes sense. This, this is just supposed to appeal to, like, the Blue Lives Matter people who, you know, want to be a cop that, that everyone's scared of but somehow think that they're still, like, helping people. <laughs> anyway, moving on. You play as a hero and the whole city fears you. The style of city is similar to Miami or Las Vegas, but actually it's old New York. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> like, surely when you just say the city is old New York, but, like, <laughs> why is similar to that? But actually it's old New York. The style of city is similar to Tokyo or Beijing. Actually, it's Scunthorpe. <laughs> Corn toes, chili cheese flavor. People keep calling this like a Fritos ripoff or whatever. I don't think it is for a couple of reasons. Well, really only one reason. And that's the fact that um, we don't really have Fritos here in the UK. And this is definitely English. It's not something I'm remotely familiar with. It's probably one of those things that you'd only get in like the cheap corner shops. You know, like alongside all of the Bobby's, pr uh, Bobby's crisps and everything. I nearly said Bobby's Prisps, I don't know what that is, but you know, you can have fun with that if you want. Anyway, you know, it's got the double decker, it's got the U in flavour, like this is, this is English, but you know, the problem that I have with it is if you're going to create a, like a nice snack, if you're going to create a salty chili cheese snack made out of corn, don't call it freaking corn toes, when corns are something that you get on your toes and they're just gross and horrible, it just makes it sound like they're feet scrapings. That's the issue I have with this. Nightcrawler with Earthworm Jim shoots flaming balls again. <laughs> oh, it even says performance description. Looks like somebody took the lid off of the can of worms. 88 shots of fuzzy golden comments. Oh, okay. I was actually going to say, why Earthworm Jim? I mean, don't get me wrong. I freaking love Earthworm Jim. He was a huge part of my childhood, but, but he's not really as relevant today as he was, like, say, 20 odd years ago. But yeah, I mean, with the whole worms thing, <laughs> it makes sense, I guess. Magic Hockey. Ah, uh, yes, with those, with those cartoons ripped off from a very age-appropriate children's show. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know what? This kind of gave me so many memories, like, freaking Ratatouille, that if you were at, like, some crappy little restaurant for, you know, some kid's birthday party, if you would go into a room and there was something like this available and you were able to just play and not actually have to, you know, nag your parents for 50p to play, ah, oh, I freaking love them. Days of Queen. You know, at first I thought, uh, I wouldn't really consider this a knockoff because it's, it's, you know, it could sell daisies at the side of the road, which would make sense. But no, that's, that's clearly like an ice cream above and it's got, you know, a, a burger and a pop <laughs> on the freaking side, so it's a fast food place. It does not look hygienic though, <laughs> it really does. This is like the kind of place where you get mega diarrhea. I'm off to Daisy Queen to get me some mega diarrhea, what you want? <laughs> Choose up. Choose up. That's pretty solid advice. I like it when my, when my, <laughs> when my cans of pop give me advice. <laughs> Compliments. <laughs> I want to know where this is from. I'm, I'm like genuinely curious. <laughs> is it Turkish? Because those like eyes kind of look like Turkish eyes. This is where I'm just getting really too interested in like the mechanics behind it, I guess. Hey, yo, what up? It's Kanye Stein. Half Kanye West, 
Ha, Frankenstein! <laughs> this is not a toy. This is a lyrical genius that got put together by a doctor in a lab. <laughs> Well, that's it for this episode of r slash crappy off brands. I actually have enough for a few more episodes, so I'm definitely going to be revisiting this subreddit. As always, if you enjoyed hearing from this subreddit or would like to hear from any other subreddit, then do let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. And until then, I'll see you all next time.